So welcome back everyone to the Brew Manor 9 uh, for a round in a bit of a storm today after the 40 degree heat recently. Um, but first hole as usual is, is downhill but very much into a strong wind today. Um, so just trying to keep one in play. So 250 down the middle I can't complain with that at all. We leave ourselves with roughly 100 yards in but we're in the first cut so we're not in the fairway so it's quite a difficult uh, shot for me in terms of yardage and unfortunately we go a little bit left of the green. So a nice little chip here, it's about 15 yards, slightly uphill, um, and the few speckles of rain just starting to come down, as you can see, slowing it up a tad, meaning there's not as much roll out. Bit stubby. And it's an uphill putt, and it's not the worst putt in the world. Unfortunately, we get the line wrong to start with, um, but pace was good, which is always a, a good sign on the first hole of the day. Starting the second hole here, we're back uphill, par 5, 490 odd yards. Um, got a bit of a wind coming from our left here, so try and hit this one relatively straight and let the wind do the work and take it around to the right and we get a nice kick into the fairway to leave us about 190 yards in. So pretty much the perfect tee shot. Looks like it's bouncing along the right edge, which will do. Second shot here, I've taken a hybrid because we're in the first cut. So just trying to keep it in play, three quarter swing, get it up there somewhere and hopefully we can have a putt. I think we're putting. And going through the routine here, just trying to eye up the line. I'm, I want to hit down, get the pace, and then very quickly get into the stroke. I know it's something that a lot of mid handicappers tend to struggle with is a routine over your putts. So something I'm definitely trying to work on. Um, but pace on this one, just on the slow side, I was a bit worried of the downhill aspect looking at me and not wanting it to run off the front of the green and ruin a birdie chance but again we've left ourselves with a short putt here for a birdie on this hole which is really really good for any mid handicapper so second ever birdie and i caught it on camera on that long par five and now we're onto the the view from the par three right at the top of the course it's like 173 into wind looks like it's playing every bit of 173 So we've left ourselves below the hole here. It's quite a tricky chip, but just trying to hit the green. Stop. I'll take that from there. Once again, a nice roll on the part and we'll happily walk away with an up and down there from a very, very poor tee shot. Very happy. So this hole's playing into wind today. It's at 167 yards. I've hit a seven iron, um, thinking it would be roughly the right yardage into wind, but we've got a big kick and we've gone right to the back of the green. So um, long putt for us on the next shot, I think. So hard, I think I'm right at the back. Very tricky So we've left ourselves with a really long putt here for birdie. Um, and unfortunately we don't get the pace right or the line right. Bends a bit more to the right than I thought it would. We leave us up short. And for the second putt, trying to knock him for par, just trying to get the speed right along with the line and not trying to smash it past the hole. Unfortunately, we miss on the left edge and we leave ourselves with a short, tricky one for bogey. Very unfortunate three putt there. Just got the read wrong on the second putt and then nearly walked the third putt in a bit too early, a bit prematurely. So, um, yeah, not my finest there, but onwards to the fifth, which is the par four with a big tree in the middle. Coming up to the fifth here and off the tee, we somehow managed to hit a draw, which is something that doesn't usually happen, but very happy to see it. Um, we leave ourselves with a, a pitching wedge in. We're slightly blocked out visually from the hole, but in terms of yardage, we're absolutely fine. So it is up there somewhere. All over, I think. For the putt, we left ourselves with a tricky downhill putt, which is not really the side of the hole you want to be putting on in this hole, especially with the uh, how hard the greens have been recently after the back of the weather. 
but we judge the pace very nicely here and roll it just short but we've left ourselves with a short one or two foot tap in for a par which is something you can definitely take away with happily on this hole as a mid handicapper coming into the sixth here the wind is really starting to pick up i've had to really try and leather this drive to get it anywhere up there because the rain is coming down heavily the wind is straight in the face and as you can see it's really really starting to get heavy in front of us here so after a nice drive i've tried to hit a hybrid up there and i've just lost grip entirely and chunked it about 50 60 yards in front of me not good not good at all now here i tried to come out and tell you all that i've accidentally not recorded my next 85 yard wedge shot in but the rain is so loud and heavy that you can't actually hear me so apologies here that i've missed this and it's probably the best shot of the round So it turns out not only are we on the green, I've stuck us to about four foot from 85 yards, which is all right, but this is drenched. I'm getting a bit fed up of the rain here. I clearly try and kill this putt and get it in quickly so I can get off quickly, but I've absolutely mullered it. it would have gone about 10 foot past the hole if I wouldn't have lipped it. So uh, we knock this one in for a, a bogey, um, which isn't the worst thing in the world given the, the second shot. Um, but a disappointing putt leading to a bogey, but definitely time to get off the course. So after a half an hour break, the rain is still very much pummeling down, um, but we've come back out to play the last three holes because we're playing quite well. Um, we're now playing a, a bright green ball just so we can try and see where this ball goes because the rain is coming down so heavily we can't really see much out there. Honest, I can't actually see where that's gone properly, but we'll have a uh, have a look when we get up there. So we've left ourselves about 15-16 yards short of the green, slightly uphill away from us here. So just trying to punch something up there off the back foot and get it to within putting range. Oh. So after hitting the pin on that one. We're very, very happy to walk away with a par there after nearly having stolen a birdie. So on the eighth here, I've not gone back for the rangefinder. I have no idea how far it is, but I certainly don't want to waste time going to grab that. So I've taken an eight iron um, and I've got absolutely nowhere near this shot and I've let the club slip a bit in my hand and the the ball has just gone left. Um, but thankfully, I think we skipped through the bunker. If you can see the... Uh... It's all fallen in the last 10 minutes or so. And this is bone dry as well, because we've just had 40 degree heat in this country, so pretty, uh, pretty crazy conditions here right now. So we've left ourselves with a, a fun little lie here, having skipped through the bunker. We've got a slight uphill lie, ball slightly above my feet, quite short-sided on the green, so I want to get something up in the air and get it to try and stop. Hopefully the greens are a bit more receptive now with the increased amount of water on them. So we come very close to holding that one as well. And another very simple tap in putt for par. So finally onto the last hole, slightly into wind. And I've really tried to give this the beans to clear the brook at 250 so we can give ourselves an easier second shot in. More uh, on course action here with the the fairways now effectively completely ruined, which isn't good. But we started so we may as well finish. I think we're we're on for a pretty good score regardless of circumstances. So I definitely want to see this one through. So second shot here is a pitching wedge. We're roughly 90 yards out, but unfortunately, I lose slight grip of the club and conditions underfoot with my squelchy shoes aren't great and we've hit it nowhere. So third shot here, slightly into wind. I've got the most lofted club out of the 60 to try and get it on the green to stop it. But I think I've hit it a little bit too hard. It's hit the green and we've just bobbed it back onto the, the back bank behind the green. And unfortunately you can't really see this shot, but we've managed to chip it straight back onto the green. But I didn't feel like moving the, uh, 
the camera in all this weather and unfortunately we just go past the left edge with the bogey putt downhill to leave ourselves with an unfortunate double on the last hole but definitely time to go home and get changed so definitely in the conditions around i'm very very happy to have played probably next time may debate checking the weather before i go out and possibly bring a coat or maybe sensible and stay home by the fire instead either way thanks for watching see you next time bye